final circles we have this, this big tradition. The job is passed from father to son. Your teacher is your father or your mother, but some member of your family. So it was a tragedy when I announced that I, I want to be a clown. And he began to tell me, you know, David, clown is not so easy. You have to be a good juggler, a good musician, a good dancer, a good acrobat. And after, if you support by talent, it's made you feel funny, you can be a good clown. Kids are the most difficult audience for you because they like you or they don't like you. The kids love you right away or they hate you right away. If they like you right away, the moment you, you cross the arena and you be in stage, if they love you, they follow you. And they look what you, you do. At this moment, you can begin to be fine. It's wonderful to see in three generations sit down uh, in the in the in the in the place and the grandmother, the mother, and the daughter laugh about the same thing you do. It's wonderful. I think only in the circus you can have something like that. Chicago kids are an important part of this year's show. Now, this is a group of kids who literally came from street life to perform at the greatest show on earth. Alongside our clown of clowns, David Lariblé. <laughs> I'm from the city of Chicago, the south side, actually. Right now, I'm performing with Amy Reservoir and Amy Circus. There's nine members of the troupe, and... You know, we ran from 12 to 17. We do this amazing act, you know. If you see it, you'll know. We were training down in Venice, Florida for uh, a period of eight months with uh, two Russian coaches. They was teaching us our, our jump rope skills and, and, you know, brushing us up on our acrobatic timing. Meanwhile, in Russia, the children from Cherepovets were training just as hard. And now we've brought together both groups of talented acrobats. Their skill and split-second timing is evident as they display feats of electrifying energy and infectious excitement. I've uh, picked up a lot of Russian languages, and uh, they picked up English. So we communicate pretty good, you know. And uh, they come over to our train class sometimes and play our video game. And we go over there, and like, they show us pictures of Russia and other places they've been also. Awesome. 